Immigrants are welcome here. Immigrants are welcome here. Are you with this group? You look like protecting, like Red Cross or something. I'm a street medic. No, not street medic. I'm just a medic. I'm sorry, street who? I'm just a medic. Medic. Oh, medic, street medic. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. So taking care of the welfare of, of the protesters. All right. The reality is, if someone gets hurt, uh -huh. and the police gets to them, the police won't deliver first aid, they'll throw them in the back of the van and send them straight to jail. They won't send them to the hospital. Oh. So the person can end up dying in the van or in the jail a few days later from wounds that could have been healed easily if someone was there. But the police got to them first. Huh, that's interesting. Never heard of it. <laughs> so you think they're gonna, if somebody's in trouble, they're going to take him to the hospital first? No, no. If, if, if somebody's hurt and the police arrest them, they're not going to take them to the hospital. It's, it's going to be people of color. It's going to be people of color. So if they a white, they target people of color. So if you, if something happens to a white person, nothing. They're going to take him to the hospital. Uh, and if it's more, more likely than if they were black, brown, or indigenous. You think so, really? Yes. Yes. That's that. That's the reality of the really? situation. Really? Yes. That's interesting. So you think, but if there are black policemen, I say a lot of black, a lot of black policemen. They're not going to help their, you know, black brethren? Um, I'm just a little confused. Well, well, that's the thing. No, they, whether they're black or white, they still put on that blue uniform. They still stand alongside the people who attack others, and the policemen. They, they serve the law. They do not serve the people. But is, is it supposed to be kind of blind? I mean, the, the justice? I mean, they, they shouldn't kind of care, black or white. Did, did, did you see it, you know, that happening? Man, it, really? Re, re, I'm re, kind of kind of surprised, re, really, news, honestly. I've seen it in the street. You know, really? the police target people of color. No, huh. out of a hundred protesters, two black people, they managed to find them. Really? Yeah. So what are we gonna do if that happens? We're gonna grab these people and administer like first first aid or something like that? that that's what. Uh, gonna... You can maybe try and find out who knows them, court support, you know, support them through the ugly process of being arrested in detail. And because of your presence, they're not gonna touch these people. Is that right? Because you are there, you're next. Nothing. If I'm able to get to the injured person before the police, uh -huh. I cannot leave that person, or else I could be charged with patient abandonment. And I would never leave that person, whether it's illegal or not. I see. The, technically, I wouldn't be doing anything illegal. Uh -huh. The police could still arrest me. Really? They have broad laws that could uh -huh. apply to almost anyone. So as long as they feel like arresting you, they could. Interesting. For no reason, you're saying? I mean, you're helping. Uh, th th there's uh, n numerous laws that they could apply to anyone at this protest. I see. Okay. I mean, the law is a law. I'm a law-abiding citizen. If I'm not supposed to do something, I just just wouldn't do it. As far as I'm concerned. I mean, the way I look at it. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, 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 I don't break the law. I, I don't. I don't advocate violence. I. I don't do any of that. And yet, I could. I know I could be arrested for just trying to help someone who's injured, and that's not illegal. Okay. Yeah. I hope you are wrong, but hey, uh, uh, what can I say? Uh, unfortunately, I'm right. I, I what kind of accent do you have? Am I detecting an accent, or is it my imagination? I'm an immigrant myself. Uh, uh, I'm I came from Canada. Oh, from Canada. I can't detect an accent. Uh, accent. I'm from Russia. You're from Russia? Huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What, what about of Canada? What's the, what's the Red Star, by the way? I mean, speaking of Russia, I just noticed the Red Star. Oh, I just did that for fun. Oh, I see. It, it, there was a logo there. I thought, I don't want to be, like, advertising it, and it looked better with the Red Star, too. So nothing political, just just the Red Star. Yeah, it, it's like, hey, I don't like to be exploited by companies like everybody else. You know? Exploited? Yes. Exploited? Yes. I mean, that's why you have a star, so not to be exploited by the companies? Uh, just, just to, like, not, not provide free advertising for them. No, it looks Oh, oh I see what I mean. Uh, so instead of their company logo, you put the Red Star to sort of promote, to me, socialism. You know, the, yeah. as soon as I saw it, I thought, wait a minute, that, that sounds, looks very, very familiar. I was 29 when I left, mm -hmm. so it's like a little kid. I vividly remember all these, you know, Red Stars. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, not a big fan. Mm -hmm. Not a big fan. Of socialism? What do you think? Do you think it's a good idea? Um, the far left gave us weekends, the far right gave us the clan. I say, all right. All right. Okay, I mean, I lived it. You just read about it. So, I mean, uh, what can I say? Anyways, I gotta keep marching. Sure. All right. Yeah, okay, see ya.
Palestine. Did you hear of there? Palestine? It's Palestine and Mexico. All these walls have got to go, Palestine and Mexico, because of the wall around Gaza, I guess. I, I, I'm kind of confused. I heard, what does Palestine have to do with, with this whole the thing? 